Hey, this is Brandon with Car Up. I want to talk about our friends to the north in Canada. A uh, great paper just came out in the Journal of the Canadian Chiropractic Association 2018 talking about two things that I have a little bit of difficulty in practice. That's distinguishing between myofascial pain syndrome and fibromyalgia. It's often very difficult to take the one patient and say, which one is it, especially if they're just presenting with those symptoms. Here's a great way to do that. Myofascial pain syndrome often have regional trigger points. They're tight, they're nodule, they're discreet, uh, they're palpable. Uh, these nodes are found within the muscles uh, that, you can, that you can identify. Fibromyalgia is a little bit different. It's more widespread, total body. That tissue is not distinguishable from other tissue within that area. It's just hypertonic sensitive tissue. We need to make that differentiation. There's many other uh, ways you can do that. However, when we start to palpate those nodules, it leads us into a myofascial pain syndrome type diagnosis. Those are patients that we can help out significantly with manual therapy and manipulation and other tools that you would use in your practice. Uh, we can use manual therapy and exercise and mobilization and manipulation. Fibromyalgia has a mixed bag of results. Those patients don't necessarily uh, receive benefit from just one modality. A lot of times these people require multiple practitioners, uh, different kinds of psychological issues, uh, along with manual therapy and nutritional advice and, and X, Y, or Z. So making that differentiation becomes very important uh, in your practice to make sure we know who we can help and who we can't help. I hope this helps and thanks to the uh, Canadians for putting out great research on a regular basis.